Hi students, uh, welcome back to my channel Ultrasound Whispers. Today we will discuss a very important topic about a unique type of electricity that has a specific name called piezoelectricity. Stay tuned and let's move towards, uh, towards our topic. So in this lecture, we will uh, discuss piezoelectricity, piezoelectric element, piezoelectric effect, reverse piezoelectric effect, and pulse echo technique. So in this lecture, I will let you know how can we make our own electricity. Yes, our own electricity. Are you excited? So there are uh, some conventional ways to produce uh, electricity and uh, production of electricity uh, is based on the law of conservation of energy. That means that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. How? However, it can be converted in one form to another form. So, <clears throat> physics help us to change nuclear energy into electrical energy, solar energy into electrical energy, wind and coal energy. We used uh, uh, potential energy of the uh, water and uh, produced electricity through um, uh, mechanically by by the mechanical movement of a generator. So, do you know these two guys? On my extreme left is Thomas Edison and on uh, my extreme right is Nikola Tesla. These were the two uh, scientists who worked on the production of uh, electricity and they change magnetic energy into electrical energy. So we are not going to follow the footprint of these two great guys, but we have a very simple method to make our own electricity. And that electricity is called piezoelectricity. Let's see what can we do to make this uh, unique type of uh, electricity. So what do we have right now? We have only ultrasound waves. And we know that ultrasound waves are pressure energy waves. So if we convert these pressure energy into electrical energy, it will serve our purpose. So now the question is, how can we convert pressure energy into electrical energy? Or how, we, how can we convert ultrasounds into electrical energy? So it's very simple and uh, we can produce it easily. Isn't it shocking? Yes, it is. Let's see how can we do that. For this purpose, we need uh, zircon crystal, or quartz crystals. So are, uh, these are also called piezoelectric elements. So for, uh, for the, as a for, uh, for first step, we need to take piezoelectric elements. What are these piezoelectric elements? These are also called zircon crystals and uh, uh, quartz, Russian salt, or ceramics. And they have a very special ability. What is that? That take that uh, crystal, press it hard, it will produce electricity. How simple is that? That a natural occurring quartz crystal can produce electricity for us. So quartz uh, was the first uh, naturally occurring uh, piezoelectric element that was discovered. And uh, these quartz element or piezoelectric elements are very beautiful. Aren't they? They are amazing. They are awesome. That is why they are used in some ornaments in making rings, necklace, and other jewelry. See how beautiful is the jewelry is? Do you wanna buy it? So these uh, piezoelectric elements are not only uh, used in making of jewelry, but 
it they are also used in our daily life like if you put a pressure on a cigarette lighter this pressure energy is converted into electrical energy and spark is produced and that spark ignites the fuel and in this way a piezoelectric element works in a cigarette lighter and there are some uh, watches too uh, that uh, use uh, quartz element and uh, that's why to keep the time that's why they are called quartz watches so now the question is that uh, what make these crystals piezoelectric crystals piezoelectric element crystals so special that they can produce electricity and uh, what is inside them let jump little bit uh, deep inside uh, a piezoelectric element to see what do they have while well, that that is not uh, contained by other elements or by other crystals so for this purpose we go into the detail of uh, at detail of the uh, crystal structure at molecular level so these crystals actually have hexagonal silicon dioxide crystals that make them so special that when you press them they produce electricity and this electricity is called piezoelectricity why it is called piezoelectricity because piezo is uh, derived from a greek word piezine and piezine mean pressure or squeeze so when you squeeze these uh, crystals or you put a pressure on them they produce electricity and electricity produced by piezoelectric elements is called piezoelectricity let's jump to the uh, to the uh, internal structure of the piezoelectric element so it's very easy you make a triangle like this and put silicon here silicon and silicon silicon is positively charged so the center and the nucleus contains the positive charge and now draw an inverted angle triangle sorry like this and put oxygen on its corner now your hexagonal silicon dioxide crystal is ready to watch why it is hexagonal because it has six corner one two three four five and center of the oxygen triangle is negative so overall the at this level uh, the crystal is neutral is non-polarized it has no charge because positive charge neutralizes negative charge but what uh, happens when you put a pressure and you squeeze this crystal on both side i made the boundaries of the crystal so what happened these positive charge and negative charge are separated and they move towards the opposite poles and the opposite poles become polarized one pole become positively charged and the other pole becomes negatively charged and now this crystal is called polarized crystal and there is potential difference on uh, on on the two opposite edges of this crystal and when the when uh, uh, 
polarization takes place, then electric field is produced and electric current start flowing. It means when you squeeze a piezoelectric element by putting pressure on both sides and this pressure is horizontal, you see, on both sides. So it squeezes and electric field is produced and that electric field produce electric current. Putting pressure produce electric current. And hence, this electric current is produced by this piezoelectric element. So this current is called piezoelectric current or piezoelectricity. Conversion of pressure into the electrical current. So, and this is, and the whole phenomena is called piezoelectric effect. Now, reverse this phenomena. Let me raise it to make it. So in first instance, uh, you put a pressure uh, on the crystal. Now reverse it. Now put electricity apply electricity on this crystal. Now what will happen? It will start vibrating vertically. It will be compressed from top towards the bottom and it vibrates. And you know that when an object vibrate, it produces sound waves. So this electricity and this phenomena is called reverse piezoelectric effect. So piezoelectric effect is that when you put a pressure and current is produced, and when you apply a current and crystal produce pressure. So this is reverse, uh, <clears throat> rever this is called reverse piezoelectric effect. So <clears throat> once again, this is the, the, uh, the geometry of the crystal of the piezoelectric element that uh, make it unique. Uh, that when you put a pressure in it, pressure on it, it uh, has ability to produce electric field and that electric field creates alternative current, a wave, a sine wave. And uh, if you reverse the phenomena and you put and you apply electricity on this, these crystals, they will produce the sound waves. So, as a review, uh, crystals are hexagon, uh, hexagonal silicon dioxide, and that make them unique. And this is the base of their ability or property to produce electricity when pressure is applied. And when electricity is produced by applying pressure, and uh, this uh, this is called uh, reverse piezoelectric effect and when sound waves or pressure energy uh, uh, is applied and electricity is produced, this is called uh, piezoelectric effect.
and uh, as far as the geometry and uh, study the studying the piezoelectric uh, crystal at molecular level is part of physical engineering that is called biomedical engineering and we are ultrasound expert we are not the engineers we just create images of the internal organs of human body uh, for diagnostic purposes so this is a pure quartz crystal and uh, sound wave and this is current when sound wave or pressure energy is applied these crystals squeeze horizontally squeeze they squeeze and electric current is produced and when you apply electric current these crystals vibrate vertically and sound is produced and uh, you can differentiate that first one is called piezoelectric piezoelectric effect and second one is called reverse piezoelectric effect So never be confused between uh, piezo, uh, piezoelectric effect and uh, uh, reverse piezoelectric effect and uh, <clears throat> that in, in which process, in which phenomena uh, these crystals produce uh, electric field and in what uh, process uh, they, they vibrate. So again, piezoelectric crystals uh, why they are pi called piezoelectric crystals because uh, their name piezo uh, means squeeze and uh, it is derived from a greek word piezine and when you you squeeze these crystals when you put this this uh, 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 when you put pressure on these uh, piezoelectric crystals they produce electricity and their structure is made up of hexagonal silicon dioxide uh, crystals and uh, they change into uh, <clears throat> pressure energy into electrical energy and vice versa and this effect was uh, first discovered by two brothers Piri Curie or Perry Curie whatever you whatever the way you want to pronounce just you need to write down the correct spelling in the exam. Perry Curie or Jacques, Jacques Curie in 1880. And these piezoelectric uh, elements are the major component of a transducer. And there is array of piezoelectric elements in a ultrasound transducer. So you can define ultrasound transducer as a device that convert uh, electrical energy into sound waves or sound energy and vice versa so this is all for uh, today fox and uh, thank you very much uh, for watching my video and please uh, like and subscribe my video if you like it thank you very much once again